Okay, y'all. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing this big job. It is what it is. My hair damaged. I'm going to show y'all. I don't even need to tell y'all no backstory or none of that. Just know it need to go. My hair is damaged. It need to go. It need to go. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to jump right into the video. As y'all heard in the earlier clip, my hair is very damaged. I have heat damage. It's uneven. It's breaking off all the way down the hair shaft. So, I went ahead and just transitioned for a while and I just got tired of it. And I just decided today was the day I'm going to cut off all this damaged hair and just enjoy my natural hair. So, it's going to be really short. It's going to be a T T W A. And so, I'm just taking my hair in sections and now I'm just going to hit and seeing where the natural hair meets up with my damaged hair i'm going to detangle it with my vincent brush and then i'm going to just cut it off all of as much as the straight hair as i can so i try to cut like a little above the damage that way i know it's just my full natural hair left behind i couldn't find no hair scissors so i just ended up using these I don't, I don't recommend using any kind of scissors. You probably should just use some hair shears. But this is all I had, so fuck it. As you can see, I, that shit is stringy as hell. It had to go. That's right, girl. Cut it off. Let it go. Let it go, Jazz. Let it go. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to speed it up. And I might pop back in and talk to y'all throughout the video. But for the most part, I'm just going to be cutting off all this damaged hair. Yes, my arm already getting tired. <laughs> Ooh, child, look at that damaged hair. Get that out of here. It is ugly, girl. I'm telling you, it's a mess, honey. So I'm just taking it, just keep cutting and cutting, y'all. And it felt so good to just take all of this damaged hair off of my head. And I already feel like, and it's only been a week, and I already feel like my hair has grown, has grown, has grown already. I feel like my hair's grown out already. I've already done uh, two different wash and goes. And my hair is just so pretty. I have never seen my hair. Be I've done a big chop one time before, and it was like four years ago. And my hair was not healthy, and I didn't maintain it well. But this time, it's very healthy. And my wash and go curls were popping, y'all. And y'all will see that later on in the video. If you still see a little straight hair sticking, like you can see right there on my left side, you can always, um, you can always, I'm going to go back and I'm going to be cutting the straight hairs that's left over off that I did miss. And I'm just going to go back all throughout my head a second time to make sure that I got all of that damaged hair off and it's 100% my natural hey, hair. I know it's uneven. A lot of people don't look even. I'm just trying to get it low and then I wash it then I see the curls and I see the straight ends then I really cut it, you know?
This side much shorter and more natural than this side. I'm going to be using my favorite deep conditioner. I actually was running out of it this day. So I had to go out like the next day and re and re up on all my Aussie products and all my natural hair products that I love. But I have been using this on my transitioning hair. So the natural new growth that grew in, it really loved this product. So I just mixed what I had left in the bottle with water and shook it up. And I just used that on my hair just to get the texture to change and revert to my curly hair texture because I had it combed out as you can see. So you can't tell really the curly difference from the straight hair so i really wanted to see the difference so I, so i could cut it off so once i put this conditioner in there i just it reverted back and i just cut the stringy damaged hair that was still left on my natural hair off as much as i could see it and i i did go back over it and over it again and again until i eventually got all of that stringy damaged hair off of my natural curls i just kept putting my fingers through my hair and then I went through it with my Vincent brush to really separate those curls from that damaged hair and I cut it off I just kept cutting it cutting it cutting it until I didn't see any more of that straight hair left on my natural hair and yes guys I love it I just cut it off. Freak off. I just cut it off. I just said, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Like, and look, my edges, they still there. I always have edges. But it's like, girl, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I love you. Like, the first time I did my big chop, my hair was not healthy. Like, it was just, I didn't know how to take care of it. It was new. But this time, yes, I, got I got high hopes. I'm going to try to go in and cut it some more, like, the straight ends. I'm going to put some of this intensive repair conditioner because I ran out of the Aussie and really what y'all see me using was water. Let me cut this off. So I'm going with this Dove Intensive Repair Conditioner because really what y'all see me using with this Aussie was water mixed with like whatever was left. So I need like more moisture. I only used this like one time before with my transition hair and I liked it on my natural hair. It's really thick and I like that. It's a lot of slip. It kind of reminds me of the Aussie. Just a little bit. The Aussie is better. The Aussie hit different. The Three Miracle Curl Deep Conditioner. Oh, that's why it's a deep conditioner. Okay. No wonder it hit different. Yeah. I was using it as a regular conditioner, y'all. I'm crazy. Mm. Oh, yeah. My hair like this does. I like it. It's really good. My hair just drank it up. side look better feel better because it's more natural I'm gonna let this conditioner sit in my hair for a little while y'all 
I'm gonna add some of the repair conditioner too. I like the mix, but I don't care. Cause I'm gonna use all of it. So I'm gonna add this repair conditioner from Kim Kimball. And I really, I use this all the time. And it's just, will probably help with the um, strength. And it tingles and that's why I like it. Really want my edges to be good. My edges always pretty. I really love my natural hair. <laughs> my texture pretty as crap, y'all look. I got a beautiful natural hair texture. It ain't gonna take no time for it to grow back. Now that I know what to do, who knew that I had pretty curly natural hair? It's 4C, it's 4C, but just pretty though. Just like, I can see my curls pop. You just gotta know what products to use and what products work for you. Let me get this plastic cap. So I got my plastic cap, I'm gonna just go ahead, put that on my head. And that is gonna just really lock in the conditioner. I'm gonna let that sit for a while while I finish the rest of my blunt. I got my main tail detangling, detangler extreme main tail. I got a big bottle of this as well. I love using this oil here. This wild growth oil. I love this one. And as well as I love this one. Y'all, it's hitting. And that's all the stuff I use after I wash my hair out. I just put all those products in my hair and then I'll style it. So I'm going to come back to y'all when I get ready to style my hair. Okay, I'm about to hop in the shower and wash it out. Oh, my hair is bad. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Man Until Detangler Leave-In Spray and spray all throughout my hair. I'm just really separate my hair with this because it's a leave-in and a detangler. Right. It's going to be my liquid leave-in as well as my detangler. I'm using my ventilated brush to detangle. I decided to go ahead and add moisturizer throughout my hair. Just so, just so I can moisturize it this night, I was getting ready to lay down. So I didn't want to have to do anything to my hair the next day. And I wanted it to be moisturized. So I just added moisturizer throughout my whole head and I brushed it down using a ventilated brush and I just did it basically a slick down I went ahead and added a part and I tried to kind of style it and then I did add some eco styler gel on top of it just to keep it in place I forgot I also did put some lot of body mousse up there as well because I guess I really wanted this to stay in place. I don't know why because I did end up that next day, that next evening, I ended up doing a wash and go. And I went ahead and laid my edges and wrapped my hair up with the scarf and laid everything in place and went to sleep that night. The next day I wore this slick down hairstyle but then that evening I decided to go ahead and do a wash and go. And I'm going to show you girls and guys a few of those pictures and videos from that wash and go because I really love the outcome of it.
Okay. Yikes. Like, and my neck hurt. Okay. Y'all seen what I did? I used the edge control on my edges. I used the mousse and it got to be a little to lay it slick down my hair and I just did a little part and did a slick down look. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyeliner for the sake of the video. If I can find a pair of lashes, I'll put them on. If not, I'm gonna do mascara and some lip gloss and I'm gonna come back to y'all. When my face look good, different shirt, come back to y'all and show y'all the completed look. Hopefully I can find some lashes because I really need some lashes for this, for this hairstyle. And now I'm about to go ahead and take the scarf off and see how it looks. And I put on my outfit and everything. Ooh, let me fix my boobies, honey. I hope I like it, y'all. Because this is how I'm over my hair. Uh, I can already see the back sticking out. So wish me luck. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it's looking. Now I need to kind of like brush it down. Oh like back here, it's coming up anyway. But I know I need to cut my hair a little shorter. But for the most part, it's 100% natural and I love it. I feel like the next time I wrap my hair with the scarf, I need to make sure I wrap the back really flat because it will lay better but other than that this is how it's looking it's me i got a little ass head y'all so it's gonna take some getting used to but i like it i really like it it's pretty y'all let me know how y'all like it i love my edges my edges always been like this though so it's like nothing new they always do this like yeah i can go back and fix them a little bit and perfect them but honestly i'm gonna just let my hair do what it do i don't care my bad i don't care y'all like at the end of the day it's my hair it look good y'all let me know what y'all think about this look down in the comments and i'm gonna figure out some different styles to do other than the slick down like I'm gonna do some stuff with my curls, but I definitely need to like go to a barber or something and get them to shape it up. But I don't know if that's what I want to do really. I just wanted all my natural hair out. That's all I wanted. I need to stop touching it. <laughs> Cause I want it to stay slick right there. That part is the only part that kind of irritates me. But other than that, I'm super happy about it. Like I love it. It's my hair, it fit me. It's cute, it's gonna grow back faster and it's gonna be 100% natural. And that's what I was going for. So anyway, thank you girls and guys so much for watching my Big Chop video 2021. This is my second time doing a Big Chop, but this is my first time actually filming it on camera. So I hope y'all liked it. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, thumbs up and Turn on your notification bell so you can be tuned, stay so you can be updated to when I do more hair videos or anything else on my channel. And I'll see you girls and guys in my next video. XOXO, deuces. Before you girls and guys leave, I want to show you these clips that I did right after I had finished doing my wash and go. I actually used the Aussie products and I just used this extreme gel that I had and it's like a curl activator gel. I really liked it and I used that along with the Aussie deep conditioner and I used the Aussie moisturizer. And also I used my hair oil that I showed you guys earlier. And that's all I did. I used a the main and tail detangler as my liquid leave-in first. Then I followed up with the moisturizer, the oil, then I did the gel. And that is how I got these really nice curls. And I did shingle a lot. So just really twisting them around my finger. And that's how I did it. And I went section for section. And it gave me these really beautiful curls. This is directly after I did it. I still had a white cast a little bit. But once it fully dried, these pictures right here show after it's fully dry in the sunlight. And my curls 
was popping, girl, and I love it. I love my natural hair. I wore it like this for like oh the whole week after that, and now I have this partial sew in with the feed in braids on top. I'm gonna be posting a tutorial on this hairstyle, so y'all stay tuned for that in my next video. And don't forget to follow me on all my other social media networks. And I'll catch you girls and guys in the next video. Bye.